this is Laura Cox and I'm going to show you how to play the main riff and the solo from a song called Bad Luck Blues. It's on my latest album, Burning Bright. The song is in E, standard tuning, and you'll only need the three lower strings to play the riff. But before we go any further, I'd like to talk to you about my tone. When we recorded that song, I used a fuzz face for my main tone and I added a second track with a pog. And I think that the pog has a little texture uh, to the sound when it's mixed real low. And I like how the two tones blend together. I think they blend really well together. Um, but I don't have my live rig with me. I'm stuck at home. No amp or pedal board. So here's how it sounds with my presets and plugins on my computer. Here's my main tone. And when I add the second one with the pod, so I like how the two tones blend together, but for now we'll just leave the fuzz on. So here's the main riff, and this is basically what I play on the chorus of the song. So I'll start on the A string with the 5th fret and 7th fret, then 5th fret on the D string and you can bend it a little. The riff is pretty simple, just be careful to have the next part right, the quick pull-offs, and slower. Back on the E, where, where you can add a little vibrato if you want. Then 5th fret and 7th fret on the low E string. This is the first part of the riff. Then D and A chord. Then you come back on the riff again, but with a different ending this time. You, you'll end the riff with the low E string. So once again, and then no D and A chord, you just finish the riff and the chorus with a G power chord and an A power chord. Anyway, this is my way of playing this riff, but there's no right or wrong way to play it. As long as it sounds cool and you have fun, it works for me. Just make it your own. That's my best advice. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is the solo. So here it is with the backing track. There are like three parts in the solo, so first it's the breaks part, where I play lead between the rhythm section, and it goes like this. So slowly, third fret on the E string, little bend, open E, open B, Open E again, but this time I pick with my finger. Then second lick. Nothing particular here, uh, just put some life in it. You know, maybe add some vibrato and slides. So now the second part of the solo. It's kind of a rhythm section, actually, where I mostly play double stops. The right hand is really important here. Don't rush it. Think it laid back. And it goes like that. So 
So I play my double stops with the down strokes and I mostly mute my up strokes with my left hand, like that. And if it helps, you can maybe practice, you know, some funky rhythm exercises. Maybe it would help. Now for the last part of the solo, it's the fast part actually, and I think we double the tempo. And what really helps for me is that I use a lot of pull-offs and open strings. It's like cheating, but it works for me. So it goes like this slowly. And it's uh, the left hand that really does the job here. Faster. Then we go up and I'll alternate two open E with one fretted note. I don't know if I'm being clear. I hope I am. So here it is slowly. And faster. Then we go back with a riff that reminds us of the main riff. And we'll finish this solo with a chicken picking lick. I love this technique, it's my favorite, which means that we're going to hit the E string with the pick and the A string with the finger. And faster. And we finish with a bend. And we're done. Thanks a lot for watching and be sure to check out my latest album Burning Bright if you haven't. And I can't wait to meet all of you on the road soon.